Hey guys, um, I found an absolutely fantastic app here for um, remotely controlling your Android phone. Um, what it actually does is it, it brings the whole screen um, to your laptop and it allows you to completely control the phone as if you were using it. Now, one thing that I find is quite amazing is it works vice versa. So what you do on the phone appears on the screen, but also what you do on, on the screen actually works on the phone as if you was touching it. So you could use this, for example, if your phone was remote uh, or you'd left it at home, for example, you could remotely connect to your phone and use it. Um, so that's quite a good feature. Um, but also for sending long texts or sending emails, etc., etc., you can use, you can actually use your keyboard on your laptop to um, send it over to the phone. And what you do on the phone appears in here as well, even rotation, and that is, I think that actually pretty neat feature so I've already installed it all but what I'll do is I'll run through the install um, at the end of the video <clears throat> for those who um, want to know how it's done um, step by step but I'll just give you a quick demonstration on um, how to load it up so here we have uh, the app let me just bring that up slightly uh, so what we'll do is we'll just log in so it's currently authenticating uh, with my account that I've created and uh, I just got to put my code in you can see there it has actually just connected so, so you see what I do on the phone is actually appearing on the screen. Now this is just simple screen mirroring but the reason why I was uh, looking for a particular application is I wanted to capture the phone um, on the laptop so I can do some videos, I can do some demonstration of applications, stuff, new stuff coming out in the Google Play Store. I don't particularly want to be camcordering my phone because it's not very professional, uh, it's quite amateurish. So I wanted an ability to, to ca uh, capture that um, in a in a pure form actually on that on the laptop it makes my um, videos more professional so but I just found that <clears throat> whatever I do on here as you can see <clears throat> it's even got swipe gestures which I thought was quite good so what what I can do is there you go uh, now I've got a busted home button so I can't actually press my home button but if I press my virtual home button it's working that way so I can see that my buddy's um, sent me a text message so I can use my uh, laptop to actually reply to him so, that's, so he said uh, hey buddy polite reminder which I know what he's reminded me about because he wants to borrow my drill so I'll say, yep, no problem, I'll put it in the car now, in fact I'm using this as a demonstration for my video. <coughs> so when I say send, it then sends it on the phone, but <coughs> what I could do, just for the screen mirroring, uh, is I do it now thanks oops thanks so what I'm doing is actually appearing on there as you can see there so I can um, go back to there so there is a, a little bit of lag on it <coughs> um, so let's go into YouTube um, just to uh, demonstrate um, how smooth the video is so let's pick the um, <coughs> front page let's see what's popular at the moment so let's just pick something so as you can see there <coughs> that doesn't seem to be that's gone a little wrong but one thing that I've found 
No, that's not working. That's interesting. It worked earlier when I did it. Let's try another one. Uh -huh. That seems to be bugging the software. That was what was working yesterday when I tried it. Um, but have you noticed when I change the orientation of the phone, it's actually changing on the laptop, which I think is pretty wicked. So let's go into the Google Play Store. <clears throat> I mean, this this is all pretty pretty much screen um, screen mirroring stuff, but the ability to then take over and do it from here. I can then go back to my home. I can play a bit of Candy Crush. Uh, I don't think I've got a very good score, but, but you get the idea. I I think all in all, um, it's a pretty wicked app, and it gets my thumbs up. So, so I was doing some um, digging around on why that um, YouTube video um, didn't seem to work properly. And one of the things I noticed is if you use the YouTube app to play a video, it actually seems to um, corrupt the screen. So if you, you see on the phone, the video is playing fine. And yet on there, it is <coughs> corrupting the video. So you can pick, pick any video whatsoever. I thought it might be the encoding from um, YouTube, but it seems that the video is um, not playing properly whatsoever. But if you go to, um, if you go to your web browser and go into YouTube's website there, and bring up a random video. What do you know? It's working. There's a little bit of lag on it, but not bad. So I'm quite impressed by that. So going through the installation procedure, um, what we need to do is go to uh, Google Chrome. Um, it doesn't work very well through uh, Internet Explorer, so use Chrome. Uh, and what we want to do is go to the uh, mobizen.com website. So what you need to do first of all is install the app on your phone. Um, and then download the PC client, and then the two connect together. So the registration process is done from the phone, not from the PC. So first of all, um, go into your Play Store, so I'll just bring that up. Search for Mobizen on there, install that. It's a 16 meg file, so let that download. <clears throat> so and the, the details here is what you register on the phone. So let's speed this bit up. Right, so I'll launch the application. So what you want to do is um, agree to the terms and conditions. next um, I'm just going to use it uh, the generic password here so if there's any hackers watching they'll bother because I'm going to wipe it and change it um, so we we'll just set that as password one two three password one two three did I just say one two three yeah next So it then takes you to the welcome screen. So um, just basically to tell you what the app does. Well, we all know that. 
Um, so let's just skip through all that. Uh, it takes you through a few settings here. Mine is saying it's been set because I've already installed it before. Um, so that, that's for um, enabling the USB debugging, um, which you need to enable um, for non-routing. Um, let's just go through that and then start it. Right, so that's the account created. So what we do is on the website, is we then log in with the email and um, email address and password that you used. Uh, connect, connecting device. There we go. So um, we now need to set up another password. So this is so that people don't take over your phone. So it's two-step verification. So we'll set one of one, two, three, four. Uh, verify it. One, two, three, four. Bump connected. Good. And there we have it. So you get a nice little desktop here. So this is just kind of the web interface side of things. You can access your phone and um, access different things. Call logs, videos, photos, music, any contacts. You can do um, a lot of different stuff from uh, the web interface, which is quite nice. Uh, I'm going to use the uh, app here. So what I'll do is close it down. Um, so this is what I would be using to do, say, like the screen capturing. Uh, so next, so put your password in. So this is, this is the application that you download in step two. Um, so I want you to enter the um, two-step passwords, which is what we did was one, two, three, four. And there we are, you're connected through Wi-Fi. So, and we should be able to now, there you go, we're back to doing what we want to do. Um, so that we can use the news, but has the news changed? No. There you go, and just testing swipe gestures. There we go. And what we can actually do is um, we've got some settings as well. You can go in there and depending upon your version of Android, um, you can set the speed. So you've got here um, default. So you can actually set it to be faster, but you do need um, Android 4.3 or 4.4 for that to work. Um, you can also set notifications if anybody texts you. Um, notifications that appear on the screen in your phone so if you've got your phone onto one side um, they'll actually start appearing on your desktop which is kind of handy um, here you can actually do recording so I, I use um, a professional piece of software to do my screen capturing but you can um, do it straight from here um, you can set different files out like AVI or Windows Movie um, you can uh, capture JPEGs, um, include the skin, not include the skin, whichever you want, absolutely great. So that's included. Um, I've got one skin which is obviously the phone, so I don't need any more. And that's pretty much it, really. Um, so all in all, I hope that's helped. and. Uh, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up uh, if you found the video useful. It helps me with feedback and uh, if you guys are enjoying my videos, I'll do more. So, uh, thanks for watching.